So, here we finally have it. Kevin Durant's debut. Here he gets the screen and misses his first shot as a son. A mid-range shot. Classic from KD, right? And it was all about, of course, his debut tonight. Here he gets his first bucket on the drive. Easy lane from Kevin Durant. Man, does it look weird to see him in a Suns uniform. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? Here he is on the block blocking Marvel, Mark Williams. He has been a really good presence defensively this year. And he was just that for the Suns and the classic block into a three-pointer. I remember him doing this against Phoenix in 2016-17, man. It was special. Shout out to him. And shout out to the Hornets, man. Mark Williams on the lane. He, Him and, well, all the other Lamelloles Hornets made it really interesting at least and made it at least a fun game nonetheless. They were really trying to be in this game, so that was fun. Shout out to them. Here's Aiton on the mid-range. They do love the mid-ranges, man, and it's gonna pay off well in the playoffs, in my opinion, because the mid-range is more valuable in the playoffs. Here's Devin Booker on the turnaround, and every time the Hornets made a run, he had an answer, and he was spectacular, just like KD. And KD, on a minutes restriction, played 27 minutes, about 27 minutes, 23 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 2, two blocks, 10 of 15 shooting, spectacular game from KD, and... Devin Booker was 15 of 26, 37 points. Chris Paul, man, it's not looking great, right? But he still can distribute. He plays solid defense overall. But I think they're going to have a tough decision that they're going to have to make that they might need to bench him for some matchups, man. We'll have to wait and see if Monte will have the guts to do it. But that's not here or there. That's, you know, about a month, month and a half ahead of us. So let's look at, let's focus on the present. The length looks really solid with them, right? The starters have a really solid length. He replaces Michael Bridges as the lengthy guy. Uh, nonetheless, Josh Okogi has been playing incredibly offensively. Tonight he didn't have it, but his defense and his length is also spectacular for them. So KD really fits well alongside them and fits seamlessly, right? And on the defensive end, he's going to make it easier for DeAndre Ayton also. And... The rim protection is going to be probably a little better with him and Aiton out there. The question is, of course, the bench for them. Tonight they played really well. will be interesting to see how well do they incorporate them. Jock Landell, uh, I've seen a lot of Suns fans hating on him. As a outside fan, I feel like he's not been horrible, right, for what he's asked to do. But he's probably not a championship caliber, caliber rotation player, so... I get the frustration from the Suns fans. As for the Hornets, you have uh, Gordon Hayward, 5 of 14, 15 points. Not his best night, though, but not not many good nights for him this season so far. Kelly Oubre, Terry Rozier tried their best. Shout out to them. And Mark Williams, the bright spot, the brightest spot for the Charlotte Hornets. Mark Williams looks like a really solid center that they have been looking for for over a decade, probably, right? Mark Williams looks just like the guy they... Uh, well, probably told when they drafted him. And he's going to be really solid for the future. He's going to get even more playing time this season here for the last 20 games or so. So that's going to be good for the Suns, good for the Hornets. And the Suns are, of course, dangerous as hell. <laughs>